What is going on, lunatics? We are back, guys. I got a whole bunch of stuff to go over with you today. So if you have a seatbelt on your chair, which is stupid, why would you do that? But if you do, strap it in because you're going to need it because it's going to get crazy. Um, is the price going to get crazy? Well, that's complicated. I do think we are on the way up. I think we found the bottom, it looks like, and we're starting to create that little curvature. So I think we're on the move back towards the upside. But some of the stuff that we're going to talk about today, just bonkers, just bonkers. Now, guys, if you follow me for any length of time, you know there's one person, uh, there's one person I just really, I don't like, an octogenarian, um, dirt McGirt, garbage bag, uh, scumbag mongrel, uh, piece of low down dirty, and uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about him just a little bit because you're not going to believe what happened in this minor, small community. It turns out this community is not so minor and small because it comes up on the radar of people that it really has no business coming up on the radar of. So here we are, and uh, this dirt merchant is... Uh, starting to create waves in the cryptocurrency community. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure that you hit the like button to help me share this. And I'm gonna ask you the question today. This is the question, okay? Number one, the question is Judge Jed Rakoff really a lowbrow dirtbag? Don't answer that, I'm just kidding, answer that. Anyway, let's talk about it. All right, here's that five foot six pile of filth right here. Uh, in case you don't know, Jed Rakoff is the octogenarian, and by that means over 80 years old. He's 82 years old. And just for some backstory here, uh, Judge Annalisa Torres ruled on XRP. Yesterday, she gave them the win, $125 million settlement on the case that the SEC wanted billions of dollars for. This is a big win for XRP and Ripple overall. Now, she created a ruling that should be considered to be case law. Well, uh, this, dirt ba this dirt bag over here decided he doesn't care what she said. He doesn't like it. He is what you would call an SEC cuck. So this SEC cuck, what does he do? Uh, well, what he does is he ignores her ruling in order to rule against Terraform Labs using whatever he decided uh, is the, the situation and the case. So this guy is in the pocket of the, Security and Ex the Securities and Exchange Commission, low rent dirt bag, basically, um, ignoring, ignoring case law. Crazy. However, let's take it a step further because this is the important part. Before we get into the news, this is the important part here. Rakeoff token. Remember, we talked about it a couple times. Uh, you know I'm a holder of it, and we've had multiple discussions about it. Well, they're rebranding. They're rebranding to Juris Protocol. Now, I knew that Juris Protocol was going to be, and I kept telling you guys it was going to be like Anchor Protocol and stuff like that, and they keep telling me, oh, it's Juris Protocol. I find it easier to explain to you guys Anchor Protocol, but from now going forward, because this is important, we're going to be calling it Juris Protocol because I don't want any judge named Anchor to be crying like a baby uh, and and going to like Germany or uh, Mars or wherever you know places places have tokens. You know I don't want any of those. I don't I don't want anybody right there uh, to be like EBDB EBDB or whatever the whatever stupid language they speak in Stupidville. So uh, rebranding Rakoff token into Juris token and Juris protocol is also going to be now. Why is that? Well. <sighs> This is the this is the message I got from Lunk Lover Six Nine says Hey, believe crypto. You may like what happened to Rakoff token recently and why we had to rebrand to Juris Protocol. Rakoff is dead. Long live Juris. Now, give me, let me give you a reason. Let me give you. Let me tell you what happened here. Uh, did you know that uh, we are so famous and popular? And this, by the way, doesn't have anything to do with price right now, but it will. Luna Classic is the only place where there's a Rakoff token. Coin Hall and Terraport they got cease and desist letters from uh, the attorneys for Judge Jed Rakoff saying that we don't want you using his name. Now, my medical opinion, shut the fuck up. Why would I say that? That's not appropriate, that's rude. Why would you say that to an 82 year old man who probably couldn't defend himself from a fish at this point? Why would you say that? Well, because he's in the United States. The first amendment allows parody and it allows freedom of speech. So you can name something after something and you can create a parody of it. And by the way, I have represented Wolverine, I have represented Hulkinu, and each one of those dealt with Marvel Comics. And guess what? Parody, perfectly legal. So Judge Dirt McGirt here uh, decided that he disagrees with the law of the land. Again, 
disagrees with case law. And what is he trying to do? Well, you know, if you contest this, then what he's trying to do is bleed you dry. What he wants to do is he wants, he wants because he's a dirtbag, he wants to suck your liquidity out of projects to pay for lawsuits, right? So the easiest way to do this is just rebrand. Just say, you know what? We're getting rid of Rakoff because it's a loser anyway. And we're gonna go with a winner, long live Juris. So effective almost immediately, uh, Rakoff token will be branding to Juris and then the Juris protocol, which is gonna be the new lending proposition here for you in the Luna Classic community is going to be uh, the law of the land. And uh, in case you were wondering here, official announcement for Lunk regarding Rakoff delistings today and our plan forward for the Rakoff project. Your balances and liquidity pool remain unaffected. Join the spaces, ask questions, no need to panic, folks. We're excited to announce the temporary rebranding of Juris Token. Uh, this is a strategic move to address a current issue while ensuring token balances remain un uh, unaffected. Uh, temporary name change to Juris, updated logo. We ask Terraport and Cornhall to reflect these changes temporarily until full migration. Legal verification of the name change is underway. They're going to put up a uh, protocol. Uh, in the protocol, they're going to be put up a, a governance proposal for a new contract address. And we're just going to do a quick migration over into this. And then it'll be done and it'll be out of the way. And it's not worth the fight. Right. So um, in case you're wondering uh, why I have no respect for an 82 year old dirtbag, because an 82 year old dirtbag sometimes acts like an 82 year old dirtbag. I can't be more specific than that. So let's move on here and let's get into the real, real news of the day. By the way, this I think, you know, to be fair, you guys know how I felt about this. You guys have heard me say this over and over again. And they've come back to me and said, hey, you, dude, come on, man. Rakoff, you you got to like the guy, right? He's really old. He's really nice. No, he's not. He's a dirtbag. He's always been a dirtbag. Always will be a dirtbag. So, um, Judge Old Man, if you see this, you heard me. And you know where to find me. So, let's move on here. Uh, I'm having way too much fun with this Dirt McGirt. Um, do I keep saying Dirt McGirt? You know what? Here's the funny thing. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. I just heard it in a Wu-Tang Clan song at one point. Uh, so, let's talk about some news. Du Quan, extradition to Korea is still pending. By the end of the week, we will know from the uh, Council of the Supreme Court in Montenegro if it will finally be moved back to South Korea, where he will stand trial at that point uh, for you know, whatever crimes they're going to allege, he will have to have his day in court. And the prosecutor's office headed by Milorad Markovic, uh, ironically, one of the largest investors in uh, uh, Terra Luna way back in the old days. Uh, it, so <laughs> really weird how all this stuff is, is happening, but uh, he should be extradited to South Korea pretty soon. Now, that'll probably be in the news. That'll probably affect Luna Classic price. That'll, when he comes home, I think that's going to be cause for a big pump. I'm going to show you that on the charts pretty soon. Now, as far as, um, um, there's an article up here, and I think this is kind of a scam ad article, to be fair. Like, I think this is really just kind of a pump and thing for some other token that has no bearing on anything, because the title of it was, Suspense Rises as V-Chain, Polkadot, and Terra Luna Classic ponder their next moves, right? So, uh, when you go through it, there's all of a sudden this paw fury. So, it's probably just a, uh, and, and there's a pre-sale link right here. So, this is, uh, you know, this is some kind of paid ad right here. It's not clearly displayed, by the way, uh, Gar Garbage, crypto basic, garbage. So, um, but it goes on to talk about VeChain, uh, Polkadot, and then Terra Luna Classic. And what it says basically is, you know, trading around the 4065 range, uh, not all bleak news, but what it says is basically what I'm going to tell you in just a few minutes. We're kind of moving along with the market right now. We're going to have to go past resistance at 71, which I'll show you why that's resistance in just a moment. Uh, but there's going to be some positive momentum and there's a real shot at closing in the coveted resistance level around 738, which I'm going to show you that as well. So uh, let's move on to that. But before we do, liquidity bootstrap. The chain with the community pool is one of the new things Cat with Hat is bringing up for a proposal. Um, not, by the way, this is not uh, actually up for governance at this point. There is something new up for governance, which we'll get into in just a minute. But uh, the, so uh, what he's looking for here is just to create a discussion to potentially add more liquidity to the trading pairs on the blockchain. Uh, we have Juris token for Minos Rakoff, which has bought many eyes to the chain, which I believe should be a focus of liquidity injection of 25 to 50K from the community pool to help provide more stable swaps. We should also target verified projects on, on the Terraport decks. For example, Lunk USD pool could do more with liquidity to bring. So there's, 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 there's opportunities here. And look, meme coins rule the world at this point, right? I mean, you're, if you're not Bitcoin, if you're not Ethereum, if you're not Solana, meme coins rule the world. So why not support the meme coin community here, which would make perfect sense if it made perfect sense. So we'll see what comes of this, but right now, just in the formulative area of discussion. Now, price action. So uh, here we are, the market is up about $88 billion overnight. So a nice little robust sort of move. The US market is on the clock right now. I expect a full uh, leaching of liquidity out of the market from the US market. However, uh, Bitcoin, uh, the ETF reversed today and it's up 
uh, I want to say it was about 40 million for the day. Uh, the Ethereum ETF was down, but it was down a little bit more. If you follow me on my live streams, and you will know what I'm talking about here, but it looks like the curvature of Ethereum. Ethereum is ready for a big move. Okay, we're, we're getting to that point right now where I think that, and, and by the way, Ethereum, you should, if you're Luna Classic right now, you should want to see Ethereum really start to move. That's what you should be looking for right now. It's just a, a gigantic move from Ethereum because a rising, uh, a rising tide raises all boats is the old saying, right? Well, when everything collapsed, it brought it all down. So it would stand to reason that it's going to bring it back up. So that's what I think is going to happen. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Let's talk about price action. So uh, why is 71 the resistance area? And you can see here, we just kind of wicked up near near 71. But over here, uh, we're, we're looking for uh, areas right here where we've got uh, uh, volume, right? So when I zoom out here, then what you start to see over here in our in our volume range is right there. Uh, you've got that little volume node right there taking you through 71. So that's going to be a little bit of resistance uh, right now. And then up here, uh, you've got a little bit more right there at 73. Now, they're, they're parsing hairs here. To, to be fair, uh, when you look at it this way, we're on the day chart, by the way. So, you know, we're, we're, we're again, we're parsing hairs when we're saying 73 is going to represent a very minor level of resistance overall. Because, you know, when you start to make that argument, then of course 76 becomes resistance and then 77 becomes resistance. And then, you know, so uh, the, the biggest level of resistance really, uh, I think, is we can have an impulse move like this. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away $100,000 in Ethereum and $100,000 in Solana. Go to this X post and engage with it in order to get registered. Uh, you have to follow their Telegram, follow Cryptonomy on X, make a fixed staking deposit of at least six months. There's no amount given, but the winners could range from $100 to $10,000. So check it out today. Also, we now have a dark mode on Cryptonomy. So if you haven't, make sure you go check that out. Now, I told you guys before, I'm a big time fan of API3. I think it's gonna be one of the bangers. We're gonna do this one for six months. And we're also going to make a deposit on Ondo. And again, we're gonna do it for six months. That's a 32.46% yield. And now we're staked with more API, more Ondo. Guys, I can't stress enough, the market Get ready because there's something big getting ready to happen. Make sure that you're staking with Cryptonomy.finance today over the next few days, uh, which would take us up into what I think is going to be the next range, which is going to be 82, okay? That 82 is the highest traded volume in this range along with this little pocket of trading and this little pocket over here. So 82 is the most likely um, magnet for price action coming forward. Then after that, you're going to see a, a, a consolidation most likely of a couple days here. Then you're going to see another big move taking us into this 9,000 range. Uh, and then in, unless there's a big announcement, if there's a big announcement, then what you're going to do is you're going to get an explosive move and that explosive move is going to take you up to 11.8. Okay. That's this range right here. And as you can see, I've, I've kind of outlined this little pocket here. So I think that's going to be the next area that we're going to go after. And then of course, if we get accepted into this range, then you've got this breakout coming up to three zeros 15. And then it's going to get crazy from there. If we get accepted into that range, then, you know, the, the bounce, you, you, you have a move up. Uh, and by the way, I did a poor job of that, but the move up here would come to this range right here. Remember, I, I keep telling you guys that three zeros, 21, three zeros, two, that's going to be the, the next kind of test right there. Then we'll have a break back down to the 16 range to see if we're accepted. And then if we get that, then we come up here, probably break down one more time, uh, come up and maybe not all the way, but then boom, uh, meander along here and then boom, breakout, right? Then the breakout takes us up into this range and then it's the moon, if you will. So I, I do think that we've, and, and look, if it looks like this right here, I don't mean to be right. I'm just saying that, you know, when you look back on it, you'll probably see it come out that way. So be watching for that kind of move. Now over here on coin hall, it should be noted here. You see my balance pretty high um, or higher than, than normal. And that's because I'm holding that Luna classic. I haven't delegated it yet. Um, so you know, just re just remember that that's that's why the balance looks so high. There's no there's no magical meme coin out here that I've got um, you know a huge amount in or something like that. It's just Luna. It's Terra Luna Classic sitting in the wallet waiting to be delegated to somebody else. Uh, the rest of it I've still got delegated. Uh, price action. Let's talk about this real quick. 17 million in trading volume, uh, but the market cap down just a little bit on the day. Same thing over here. Up trading volume just a little bit, but again it's down to six million dollars. Uh, and then 83 million is the market cap over here. Now government's proposals. There's a new proposal. Proposal up, it's 12.119, uh, and that's for uh, remove the KYC proposal from 12.033. Uh, 
three. So uh, that is six no's so far. Nobody's voting yes on this one uh, at this point. I don't know how this is going to play out. I don't know what the end result is going to be, uh, but uh, it, it would it would appear to be that you know uh, we we got the my awesome title uh, twelve one twenty one, which is the uh, spend proposal for the Oracle split logic, uh, has made it through governance. It is going to pass. Everybody's voted yes or abstain. So that one is golden. Uh, then we have the, um, th this is the tax to gas implementation. And you can see right here, we've also passed on this one. So this one is going to happen too. There's a very few, uh, some minor no's on this and a couple of abstains, but generally speaking, you know, most people have been positive for that. Don't know how all nodes is voting yet. Uh, you know, as the biggest holder, they're going to, you know, sway this just a little bit, but it looks like this is going to pass with flying colors. So, you know, I think we're in a good position here to see both of those go. And then uh, the third one, I don't know how that one's going to play out. Um, but I don't think that it's going to pass because early votes are all no. So um, that's what you need to know about that. As far as lunk burns go, 1.63 billion. So 500 billion in burns over the last couple of days, less the, the Binance burns. So remember, it's 1.17. So this is almost 500 million in burns at the beginning of the month. Now you come over here and you look at the top burners and you can see Terra Casino continuing to move up, separating itself from all notes. All notes, what are you doing? Like, like how are you, how are you the biggest holder and the 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 largest failure to 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 make something happen, you know. And at some point, somebody's going to have to call out all nodes because all nodes controls a lot here. Uh, this is uh, and look, we've accepted this, and I want to say we've accepted centralization in Luna Classic. We talk about decentralization, but all nodes has almost all of the nodes. So all of the validators, almost to a man, are using all nodes for their validation. So with that they control a significant amount of supply and secondary supply, and they've only burned this small amount, only eight transactions burning 344 million. So they've done a horrible job, horrible, horrible job of, of being the people that we needed them to be. End of story. So uh, Terra Casino, 371 million. Uh, and by the way, if you're looking for Terra Casino, don't forget Bitcoin, it doesn't matter. Ethereum, it doesn't matter. BNB, BUSD, Polygon, Matic, Luna Classic, Luna. What are you going to do with your Luna, by the way? That's another question I'm going to ask you. What are you going to do with your Luna? Are you going to convert it over to Luna Classic and move it into this ecosystem? Or are you going to leave it sitting over there in Luna and just kind of see what happens? I'd be, I'd be curious to find out. USDT, USDT, Dogecoin. Uh, remember, there are a few more here that I don't have my wallet connected right now. Again, I'm going through some stuff here with my new computer here. So, But uh, PvP, Poker, Sports, anything that you want, any, any kind of trading that you want and look over here these guys are making money these guys are in here uh they're 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 playing they're having a good time and making a little bit of money because look it's risk-based gaming you win some you lose some but you play the game so if you don't you should now uh, let's close this out with this is my stake right here uh 5, terra not a lot by the way, uh, reward so far is 15.93, and I did move up from the 16% uh, 14 day one to the 19% 90 day one. So the total stake here is, I mean, this is almost sold out. So guys, let me let me point something out here, just so, just so you guys know. When you see that all of these are starting to close themselves out, when you start to see that you cannot get into the good yield projects, first of all, they can't afford to pay you know ridiculous amounts for a lot of people. So there's only a few people that are able to stake in, you know, that are that are able to stake into these long-term protocols. So, um, you know, it should stand to reason that, you know, this, this thing gets a 10x from where it is right now and everything goes up 10x. Well, you got 60% more. I mean, that's a pretty big number. You know what I mean? If it's 100% more, it's a pretty big number. And this thing is built to last. This is, this is the new standard, hopefully, hopefully, of the Luna Classic ecosystem. This is where you would come to trade. I mean, again, we go back here and we say that, you know, this is one of the bigger burn protocols that we have as far as trading volume goes. Uh, where else can you go in order to burn Luna Classic? Terraport, that's it. So look, guys, it, it would help me tremendously and it would help you tremendously to sign up at the link down below for Terraport.finance, sign up there and start doing some trading. Same thing for Terra Casino. They, tr they do a lot of burns too. Now you can sit on the sidelines right now and you can be one of those guys that just says, you know, I'm just going to hold my bag and wait and see what everybody else does. Or you can be part of the solution. Because if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, right? And that's a, a low trade volume, stuff like that. So uh, if you want to help out in this community, 
Go sign up at the link at the description down below, terracasino.io. Go sign up at terraport.finance. Do your trading there. Uh, do your do your risk-based gaming at Terra Casino. You're going to see a lot more of them coming up in the future. Um, they, they are now a long-term partner with me. So, you know, guys, do, do what you got to do. Do what's best for you. But remember, there are places in this community where you can make a difference. So if you want to make a difference, make a difference. And the places that you can do that, Terra Casino, uh, terraport.finance and there's others there, there's others um, uh, doing your trading on binance binance has been wonderful uh, there's the df lunk protocol uh, that's not really one that we're going to do lunatics token cremation coin there are some out here that you know you, you have a great opportunity with but the easiest and most transparent of them all terra casino tarot port so if you haven't already sign up for those in the description down below and do that today that helps me out to continue to provide you with content about uh the the former rakoff token the juris protocol if you will and the new juris token it, it helps me to provide you with this information all of the time so um again hook it up and uh, we'll talk to you again soon remember it's not financial advice but i'm always right